Hi everyone, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, November 14th. Coming on this morning with the latest on Tropical Depression 19, which is uh, quickly approaching the uh, uh, Central America coastline here, currently centered about 65 miles to the east of the Nicaragua-Honduras border, moving west at about 14 miles per hour. Uh, our best estimate of the intensity right now is about 35 miles per hour, so getting close to tropical storm strength, we have the Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft are flying into the storm right now, so we'll get some uh, data here just in the next few minutes on whether uh, this system has gone on and strengthened to a tropical storm or not. But the big story for the depression right now and how it's going to play out over the next several days is going to be the extremely heavy rainfall uh, with the potential for catastrophic flash flooding and landslides that are going to unfold here over portions of northern Honduras. So we'll cover that more in a minute. Uh, at this point, in terms of the forecast, we're expecting a, a decrease in forward speed. You can see all the forecast positions here. So remember here, we're at Thursday morning. This point here is Sunday morning. So Friday, Saturday, three days from now, the system is still going to be near or along the northern coast of Honduras. So that's why we're going to see that very heavy rainfall play out. Now, we have trended lower in the intensity forecast for the system. We are still expecting it to be a tropical storm, but uh, maximum sustained winds of around maybe more like 50 miles per hour as opposed to 65 or 70 miles per hour. So we now have a tropical storm warning in effect for much of the northern coast of Honduras, including the Bay Islands, for the expectation that they are going to experience those tropical storm winds uh, with in the next 36 hours. But with the trend for the system stalling out and moving very slowly, perhaps more over land, we're not expecting as much intensification at this point as we were yesterday. Uh, if we look out to the longer term track forecast, by the time we get to Monday morning, we're expecting the system to weaken to a tropical depression as it moves inland over portions of the Yucatan Peninsula near Guatemala, Belize, or portions of Mexico, and then forecasting the system to move offshore into the sort of south central Gulf of Mexico by Tuesday morning. Uh, as a tropical depression right now, but again, the forecast at, at these longer time ranges is quite uncertain because, again, it depends on how much land interaction there is both in the short term and in the longer term portion of the forecast as to just how much uh, of a system, if anything, will emerge back into the Gulf of Mexico early next week. And that certainly has any implications for any impacts that could occur over the eastern Gulf of Mexico as we get well into next week. So let's talk about the rainfall threat here. This is, again, the biggest hazard and a reminder that tropical storms and hurricanes in Central America rainfall is generally the largest uh, you know, hazard hazard and potential for loss of life. We're expecting widespread rainfall totals of 10 to 20 inches across northern Nicaragua. So again, that's 250 to 500 millimeters. We could see isolated totals as high as 30 inches or 750 millimeters here in some of these areas. And that has, again, the potential to cause life-threatening flash flooding, potentially catastrophic impacts, landslides across much of this area. So it's going to be a very dangerous situation all the way through the weekend playing out along northern, the northern coast of Honduras. But uh, there's a broader threat for, uh, again, very heavy rainfall, 5 to 10 inches of rain, isolated amounts as high as 15 inches across much of the rest of Central America, northern Nicaragua, the rest of Honduras, much of Belize, portions of Guatemala, portions of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. So again, a broader flooding threat that's going to play out here over the next several days as the system moves very slowly near the northern coast of Honduras and toward the Yucatan Peninsula through the weekend and into early next week. Uh, again, looking at the longer term forecast, again, expecting the system to move over the Yucatan Peninsula and into the Gulf of Mexico. A lot of uncertainty here as to just, again, what the system will look like when it emerges into the Gulf next week. So let's wrap up with the key messages here for Tropical Depression 19. Again, the biggest hazard is going to be the life-threatening, potentially catastrophic impacts from flash flooding and landslides across portions of Central America, especially across northern Honduras, but also portions of Belize, El Salvador, eastern Guatemala, western Nicaragua. Again, uh, folks in those areas should be paying attention to information from the local National Meteorological Service and the local government on steps to keep themselves safe there. Tropical storm conditions, those tropical storm force winds are expected along portions of the northern coast of Honduras and the adjacent Bay Islands where tropical storm warnings are now in effect. The system is forecast to approach Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico by early next week, and there is a risk of strong winds in those areas, and residents there should be monitoring the forecast. And given all the uncertainty we've talked about, it's just too soon to determine what impacts, if any, the system might produce later next week across the eastern Gulf of Mexico, including any potential impacts to Florida. Uh, but residents there should just regularly monitor updates to the forecast. So we'll be back here with more information on uh, this system throughout the uh, rest of the week. Uh, you can always get the latest information uh, on the forecast for this system at hurricanes.gov. And for those of you in the United States, you can get more information on your local weather and local impacts at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.